Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kemi and you are watching Sincerely KSO. If it is your first time to this channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, you know that I hate horror movies, but I'm doing this. When I was younger, the very first horror movie I think I watched, well, I didn't even watch it because all I remember was the doll I think I stepped into the house and, you know, my uncle had said, this is a horror movie. Kemi, you might want to go away. And I was like, no, 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 that there's a doll, something, something. And I didn't know what happened. I just, I don't even, I think I'm, I'm so traumatized that I've blocked out what happened. And then I saw the doll or the, the someone checking if there was a battery. <laughs> Anyway, it traumatized me so much that, oh, I'm even getting goosebumps, that I never have dolls. I didn't buy my kids any. The reason I feel like um, I can revisit it is because I watched Toy Story. And if you noticed, if you paid attention or you noticed the very first part of Toy Story, I wasn't really warming up to Andy very you know because it was like okay it's animation but that thing whole thing about someone's doll talking when they leave the room is a fear that i've always had so i don't have any nature any things around me any figurines figure like i don't i remember also <laughs> when i got gifted doby during my harry potter you know someone gifted me doby has never come out that box Dobie has never come out of that box. As much as I love the story, that is how scared I am about figurines, dolls, anything, anything, anything carved that is in the shape of a living being or can be like a bit, mm -mm, it's a no. It's a no. I never did it. I never do it. I don't have it. I didn't buy it for my kids. My kids know not to bring it. Like one more time, my son went and he, you know how in Canada we have this thing, you put coins into it and you can pick out a doll. I, I, I jinxed it. I was like, you're going to get a ruler. You're going to get a pen. And he really wanted that something. I try to avoid it, but I'm coming out of my shell. I say this to let you know that what this film is, I remember seeing that and I ran for my life. I've never ever, this is the, this is therapy about to take place. And I have my water, I have my ice, I have, I have my Bible. I just feel it's not real. Definitely, I know you and I know it's not real. But when I was younger, and I'm beating my time, I will not rush. You can't make me rush. So you have to listen to my rant. Thank you very much that I'm comfortable. When I was younger, I, you know, I knew it wasn't real, but I I had vivid dreams. And when you have vivid dreams, you tend to embellish. My belly is rumbling. You tend to embellish on what you've seen. Okay. I'm going to turn it down some more. Tom Holland. I don't know this part. Oh, she almost shot you. Oh, I love that. Uh, I love that actor. That guy, he's the one in The Princess Bride. That actor. 
pump, pumpernickel. There it is! There it is! There it is! There it is! And run it! Oh! This guy, this guy, isn't he the one who played in Lord of the Rings? As a. Um, and I'm gonna get Eddie! No matter what! Eddie. Eddie was the person in the van that left. I gotta find somebody. What? Is that how it happened? The guy transferred himself into the door. That's it now. That's what he was doing. He said, I need to find someone and he didn't... Oh, is that how it happened? I didn't watch this part. But what? Oh, and he's dead. If you blink now, if you blink, I have no friends. No one will play with me. Who are you? I'm a good guy. I'm just coming. Ha 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 ha. And he's dressed like oh the cereal so oh my message just for you oh come on now you can have your very own good guy no. doll we even turn our heads and blink our eyes when you talk to us mm. right oscar remember to tell mom Listen, and dad boy, you where want are a your good parents, guy eh? Toys. is he trying Found to in toy stores throughout the greater chicago somewhere? area mommy wake up Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh, 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 oh. oh. Mommy, wake up! Oh, oh, honey, you're so nice. But it's a beautiful day outside, see? Tell you what, why don't I eat this just a little later, okay? Mm -hmm. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> That's one. Come here. Can we open my presents now, Mommy? Yes. Can I open this first, Mommy? Can I? Can I? Is that Eddie, don't you... Charles, do you get the news? Well, what do you think? You need these clothes so badly. Oh, I know. You want some toys, don't you? Not boring old clothes. Well, what do you think? I want a good guy to go with it. I know you do, Andy. But I didn't know about it in time this month to save up for it. Well, it costs a hundred bucks. Yeah, the good guy, though. There's a peddler in the alley behind the store. Come on. All right. It is. Yeah, well, I told you. Oh, uh, how much do you want for it? Fifty bucks. Ten, and not a penny more. Thirty. Well, what are you kidding? That <laughs> thing is not worth thirty dollars. Hey, look, take it or leave it. Somebody else will buy it. I'll take it. Karen, it's too much money. No, it isn't. You... How do we know the damn thing isn't stolen, huh? Uh, steal this. Uh-oh. That's probably the manager. Mrs. Howe has taken sick and we're shorthanded tonight. You'll have to fill in for her. I can't. It's my son's birthday. Mrs. Barclay, are you happy with your job here? <laughs> It'll be the hottest date I've had in months. I can't <laughs> imagine why. Good guys are on TV. Well, I may have something better for you. And it's that one that this is it. Do you understand? The thing... See what they called him, the Strangler, on TV. He has entered that door. You know, that was it. I didn't know that it was a, that was how he got his powers. He was possessed. Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi Ho. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's something, isn't he? Oh, Mom, thanks. See, that 
tell you build W D O L with the late breaking report. Next. Hey, wanna play? Hey, it's time for bed, Andy. And who might Mr. Happo be? Aunt Maggie. Chucky wants to watch the nine o'clock news. Sure he does. Off we go. Come on. There we go. Now it's a brush your teeth and under the covers with you. You yell when you're ready for me to tuck you in. Andy, are you brushing your teeth? Yes, Aunt Maggie. Action News at 9. And have the commission on gang-related violence. In other news, police have now clarified the information regarding the escape of Eddie Caputo. You know, you have to learn that when I say something, it was time to go to bed. I didn't do that. Oh, no. What did Chucky do? Walk into the But in <laughs> under the covers and not another Stop word. Stop pushing him. Stop. You buy someone a doll that is as big as him. Did you let him rinse his mouth? You already you're sending him to bed, scolding him. You know what I mean? Can you leave the door open at least? No, don't lock me in the dark, for goodness sake. Why would she be mad at you if you watch the news? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Andy? Who's calling me? Who's calling me? I don't want anyone calling me right now. Not that I don't mind the distraction. Oh my gosh. Andy, is that you? Mm -mm. If the channel changes, if the channel changes right now. Can we switch on the light? Or what? Ah! What is it? What is it? Yes, yeah, switch on all the lights. Switch it all on. What is this? How did that happen? Are you sure? You don't sound like everything's fine. No. I just had a bit of the alone at night willies, you know? Now, would you stop worrying and... Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Give Andy a kiss for me, will you? It's probably behind you. I'm scaring myself half to death. Well, miss, miss, wait, whoa, whoa, what do you think you're doing? I live here. Oh, no. Andy? Are the officers Andy? sitting down reading paper? Accident? What kind of an accident? Ms. Barkley, I'm Detective Mike Norris. Homicide. Look, Ms. Barkley. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Chucky was probably the one who told him to go stay there so that he can hear. She fell from your kitchen window. <gasps> oh, Maggie. Oh. Yeah. No. They look like footprints, don't they? Very small footprints. <laughs> what would Andy be doing up on the counter, right? What? Besides, I already checked his clothes. Chucky wanted to know what was going on. Andy, I want you to go to bed. The detective and I are very busy. But Mom. Right now, please. Good guy PJ sneakers. Wow. Get into bed. I'll be in in a minute to tuck you in. But Mom... Right now. Look, Mrs. Barkley, if somebody made those footprints, if not Andy, then who? I don't know, and I don't care. All I know is that I've just lost my best friend tonight to a horrible accident, and I would like some time alone with my son, who I'm sure is just as upset about this as I am. Okay. Hey, guys, you done, huh? Let's go. Chop, chop. Let's go, everybody. Out of here. What do you think was so important about my sneakers, Chucky? You will see the white on his sneakers. I just saw it. Oh. Mommy, I know who is on the kitchen counter. Andy, who, Andy? I thought I who? 
Andy, that's enough stories for tonight. Now come on, back to bed. Now I mean it. Mm -hmm. What? Are you gonna call me? You don't give up, do you? Who sent And I hate people who don't know when to stop. You. I want that autopsy report on my desk first thing tomorrow. Yeah. And anything you can find out about Miss Barkley and her son. You got it. Anything else I can do for you, sir? Oh, yeah. Here. Give this to the lab. We found it in the corner of the kitchen. <laughs> what is this? Possible murder weapon. No. Oh my god. How can you say something so horrible? But I'm not. Chucky's alive. Really, he Andy, is. Chucky. Chucky is a doll. He's made of, of plastic and, and stuffing. Look at him. Look at him. Now, you don't really think that Chucky is alive, do you? I'm sorry. I'll stop making up. No, it's all right. I've got Chucky. The way Chucky, she didn't believe me. Hi, I like to be hugged. Good. I love to hug you. Right off to school with you then. I love you tons. It's his, right? Chucky probably is tell, telling him right now what in his ear. Telling him what way to go. Is this his house? Look, you stay here. I have to... I'll be right there, Chucky. He put on the gas, so probably if he fires, there'll be an explosion. No? No, I, I came directly from work. Why? Let's go into my office. I don't know how to tell you this, Miss Barkley. Tell me what? Do you have any idea why your Aunt Maggie fell out of that window? Yes. Could you tell me why? So why did Chucky bunch you see Eddie Caputo? Mommy! Oh. Nobody believes you about Chucky. You hear that, Chucky? They're taking me away unless you say something. Come on, Chucky, say something! Tell me why you lied to me about everything. I'm Chucky. And I'm your friend to the end. Heidi ho! Ha ha ha! Uh. Mommy, he's doing it on purpose. He told me never to tell about him or he'd kill me. Maybe Andy should spend a couple of days with us. The first thing you do is throw away the doll. The doll has been bringing issues since you got it into your house. Before rice, I didn't gain weight. After rice, I gain weight. What is the problem? Rice. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's very simple. Say something, damn it! Hi, I like to be hugged. He wants you for a best friend. Hmm? Mm hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think this is the part that I remember. This is the part, I think. Right? This is the part. Yes, this is the part that that she turned it around to see if there was battery. There was no battery. And then... Oh. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? <laughs> this was it. This was it. This was it. This was it. Oh my god, goosebumps all over my body. Girl, are you crazy? Are you crazy? You better. You better. How did it roll under there by itself? No battery all that while. I said talk to me, damn it! All right. Then I'm gonna make you talk. I said talk to me, damn it, or else I'm gonna throw you in the fire! You <laughs> Barkley, what are you doing back here? Andy was telling the truth. You see? He's been moving and talking for days without any batteries in him. He came alive in my hand. I, I, I dropped him and he got up and ran out of the apartment. But lying is not going to help your son. Does this look like I'm lying? Where are you going? To find Chucky. How are you going to do that? Do you hear me? You don't want to go down there at this time of night. Well, the person you bought him from will not have any information. Like... Is that really how she wear or how is he? He probably picked it up from the explosion or it's been passed around. You're just, your best bet is to just get your son out of the um, psych ward or wherever they took him to. Mm -mm. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. What's she doing here? Mister! I'm not gonna hurt you. Do you remember me? Do you remember? Oh yeah, doll. What about it? Where did you get it? What did I tell you? Well, I, uh, I don't have much, but you're welcome to whatever I have. That's all I've got. All you got? What? Yes! All you got? Oh, Christ, he's a cop! Okay. All right, now, you want to ask the lady's question now, huh? Where'd you get the doll from? I don't know nothing about no doll. No, you're not going to know nothing about nothing in a minute unless you talk to me. Now, talk! A burned-out toy store on Wabash. That's where I got it. He will now remember. Because you were the one there. God damn it! My son's life is at stake. Now, what was it? Well, hey... Where are you going now? Wabash and Van Buren. There's nothing there. It's an abandoned wreck of a store. Well, why don't you believe me? It was struck by lightning the night that Charles Lee Ray died. How do you know that? Because I was there. I was the man who killed him. Mm -hmm. Ray. Yeah, you threatened to kill me and Eddie Caputo. But I did. I found I found exactly. out that Chucky is Charles Lee Ray. Get out of the car. Hey, just tell me where he lived. Chucky killed Caputo. That leaves you. That does it. Oh, please, listen to me. Out. I am telling you the truth. Why won't you believe me? Out. For the last time, Mrs. Barkley, good night. Oh, my God. It's, it's probably going to come and kill you now. Right? It's probably in his car. Check, check, check everywhere. The back seat, everywhere. And what did I say? What did I say? Oh my god. Yes. 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 Oh. 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 He's going to stop you. Oh, he's... Oh my god. I ran into something. I ran into something. Won't do you any good, 
Behind you, where is this that knife? Take the knife. Take the knife, take the knife, take the knife. Behind you, behind you. He's taking the knife. Oh. Oh, now you go back to her now. Mm, look at that. Oh, this must be the apartment of the... He must have been into demon worship. I see satanic symbols. Look at that. Look at that blood and sacrifice and all whatnot. Who's that behind you? I hope it's the Mikey guy. I hope it's, it is. It is definitely him. That's his shape of head. The detective. Karen. Ah! After I talked to you last night, I decided to go back to the station and pull Ray's file. Mm -hmm. Now all we have to do is find him before Chucky does. Hi! It's me, Chucky. When I came here learning all that stuff about how to beat death, I thought maybe you were pulling my chain. It hurt like a son of a bitch it even bled. Now why is that, John? You mean I have to live out the rest of my life in this body? No fucking way! You got me into this, you get me out. You perverted everything I've taught you and used it for evil, and you have to be stopped. Sure, how do you want it? Broken leg? Oh! <laughs> I won't tell you. Yeah? Oh! <laughs> I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh! So. <laughs> Must save the boy. Must into him like he got into doll. What? You must stop him before he can say the chant. Kill him before he can say it. His heart is almost human. It's the only way through the heart. Anybody. Why do you keep him in the room with bars like a criminal? For goodness sake, is he in prison? But Chucky is here and he's going to kill me! Oh my god, this is scary for a child. No, 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 I don't want this. No, 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 I don't like this film. It shouldn't make children do this. Mm -mm. I don't like films like that where the children are traumatized. I'm traumatized. No, I look at your pudgy fingers. Terrible. Oh my god. It's so weird. Look at the way he's walking. Look at he jumped on the bed like that. <sighs> You're a brave boy. Stop falling down, my honey. Get up, get up. I'm not gonna need this anymore. All right. But I do! Chucky's in that room! No, please! They'll kill you too! Okay. Okay. Okay, idiot. Idiot. He's gonna fry your brain now. What happened? What? Yeah, yeah. Fried until Chris with the electric shock machine and then he escaped. Chucky, you seen Chucky anywhere? Wait, who's Chucky? Kid's doll, the same one that was at the station house. Have you seen him anywhere? <laughs> what do I know about a doll? Where are you going? Andy did it. I know the little girl said that 
that Chucky was here and that he was looking for Andy. Well, where would Andy go? Look, George. Some child left their doll in the elevator. I'll leave it alone. Ugly doll. <laughs> Fuck you. the chimney. Oh. Mm -mm. Ah, mm -mm. <laughs> Behind you, it's always behind. It's always oh no. Oh yeah, Shango. Shango, the god of thunder. He has What leg did you use to kick? Aren't you the one that they just stabbed in the It's not it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Mm -hmm. Don't look bend over if he stabs you in the eye. Oh oh oh, oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Yes. Yes, light me on fire. Light me on fire. Oh my. Please, no! We're friends to the end. Remember? This is the end, friend. Oh, my baby. Andy! Andy, give me the first aid kit under the kitchen sink really fast, okay? No, no, don't send me away by myself. Ah, I know! Shoot it in the chest, what did the black man say? So what's he doing he doing on the floor? What's he doing on the floor? Just lying there there? Wasn't he awake a few? The heart is the heart. I understand what you were doing when Chucky was running around this house. All right, they're gonna be here in 10 minutes. Now tell me what happened. The kid was right. The doll's alive. But don't touch it. Do you understand me? Don't you touch one part of it. All right. Mm. Okay, oh my Mike. God. I'd like you to take a look at this thing, okay? Because there's no way this thing is alive. Oh, that's dead. Ah! 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 Kill him! Kill them! Kill them! Kill them! Kill them! Ah! <laughs> blood came out of that. I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Take him, take him, take him out of there. This boy has been traumatized for life. Never, ever, ever, ever will he have a doll. Never. 
Never. And look, why are they stopping in any way? There was no transference. Because you know how these films go by the end. Oh, I, I made it. I made it. I made it. I faced it. I'm proud of me. Thank you very much. Just one break. Yes. So. <sighs> I'm trying to shake it off. So, um, the, um. The the only thing now I'm worried is, oh, see what they said. Friendly Chucky had a different voice. Chucky Chucky had a different voice. Walk about Chucky also had a different voice. Oh my goodness! Just the thought of melting plastic. Anyway, um, the way the boy was looking back, Andy making it seem as if maybe the the ritual took place. But you know how they always li leave every horror movie with a cliffhanger, making you feel like, oh my god, the villain continued to leave. But they shot him, so the transference because we can see that by the time he's grabbing the second detective. Chucky is still in him and when they shoot the blood comes out so the transference hasn't taken place which is fine good the scariest part still remains the scariest part for me when the woman realizes that this doll has been functioning without a battery that still that still that still is the scariest of them all because in that moment even the dropping of the battery at at her feet it's so scary that I'm like, oh, I can't even, nothing else, nothing else. And then maybe the voodoo part of breaking the man's body parts. But that moment, uh, uh, so, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to just get it out. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this with me. I know I, I'm not the best horror movie um patriot <laughs> reviewer um i just i another thing is just that slow walk towards me this this tom, tiny feet running the sound of it uh, that part really scary too the the part where he was in the home and chucky climbed on the bed to stab him I don't know how you guys handle this horror movie genre. Someone wants me to watch another one. And I've been postponing it. <laughs> I've been postponing it. Mm. Oh, but it wasn't bad. Seriously. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It's, you know, your mind, your mind, when something has been scary for, to you for years, and you you have this opportunity to watch it. It's like, ugh, but I did. I feel good. I feel good that I've done it. And now I the revelation. Like I said, I didn't know how Chucky was alive. You know how he was. I just remember that part. Maybe I shut it out somehow, or I just remembered that. And I in my imagination, I thought it was the boy who found out that the battery was not in. But you can see in the movie. It's the mom who found out that the battery wasn't in. Good for everybody. All right. Don't forget to subscribe. On to the next. <laughs>